Let's talk money and get all your money issues fixed right here over the next 30 minutes. We've kept our promise, haven't we, of no long winding discussions and no hedging answers to play safe. We'll keep it short, we'll keep it smart. Let's just hop across to our first live guest who's joining us from Bangalore, Ashok Kumar. Hi Ashok, good to have you with us. Tell us what's going on in your life. Hi Manisha, uh, uh, I work for an IT firm at Chennai. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a uh, few questions which are more generic. Uh, what is the reliable asset class to build corpus as part of the retirement planning? Mm -hmm. That's your first question. Shogun. Either is that ULIPS or, or SIP in mutual funds or PPF or real estate? Uh, let's just take that first question, uh, Ashok. My, you're, you're, you're wondering what to do. I think your question is broader. Is that right? That you want to figure out how to target retirement planning? Is that what you're asking? Right. Right. Okay. So I'm going to give you an approach. We will look at products a little later. The first is the goal of retirement planning is really to have incomes coming from different sources. So you can have income from pension. You can have income from rent, profit, dividend, interest. So at age 38, where you are now, you can already begin to think about how is it that you will get income from all the different sources. Diversification works in many ways. One of the very interesting things to do is already start thinking of a second career. Now, if you're in a profession like, say, a doctor or a lawyer, you know, these people can actually go on working even after they technically retire from a job and practice privately. But it doesn't stop anybody else from having another interest which becomes like a secret second career which can come into the forefront. You know, have something on the back burner which will give you current income. Another way of getting good, uh, the biggest challenge for retirement is getting inflation proof income. So you must look at building a real estate property which will throw off rent uh, 25 years later. What about financial assets? What do you do now? Your provident fund and PPF remain your best friends. You are going to only look at these two products for long-term safe investing. Financial other products linked to equity, direct stocks if you have the knowledge, or equity funds. So this is the basket of products that you need to use. And again, just remember, diversification is not just across asset classes, but even as a mental tool when you're looking at different sources of income. So that, that is something that most people don't realize uh, early on in their lives and right. leave it too late. So you're saying real estate and equity, ULIPs, no? No ULIPs, absolutely not. You don't need not them? For, no, no, no ULIPs, no fixed deposits for retirement. Uh, you, you're, you're hedged in risk-free assets through PF and PPF. Don't do more. Rest of it between real estate and equity linked. That, that'll, that is the only thing which will give you inflation Adjust returns, returns and will build you or help you build yeah. the la and largest the choice corpus. with you later. Absolutely. Ashok, what else? What else do you want to know? Okay, uh, my second question, uh, Manisha, is uh, which option of investment is less risky and beneficial for the consumer? Mm -hmm. Investing in lump sum when the market is low. Right, go ahead or not timing the market and invest through SIP? All right. Well, what can I say? <laughs> you don't time the market. Experts don't time the market. Nobody can time the market. You will get it right once. You will get it right twice. But you will also get it wrong equal number of times. And that I can guarantee you. If it was that easy to really time the market, believe me, a lot of people would have done just that. They would have just got into the market when it was at the lowest and cashed out when it was at its highest or close to its highest and really never have to do any real work.